Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how easy it becomes to install an aluminium glass balcony sliding door either with three panels or two panels on any wall system in Revit in just a few minutes. Just visit our structural details online library and head over to the Revit doors category there you will find a wide variety of uh, doors and balcony doors choose the one you want either two panel or three panel uh, balcony doors add it to your cart proceed to checkout and download it directly to your computer now head over to your Revit project I've already created a couple of walls for our demonstration and what we want to do first is load our families into our project so go to menu on top insert load family uh, in my downloads here are the three balcony doors I have downloaded from structural details it's a double sliding balcony door and uh, two types of three panel doors I will load them all at once and once they are loaded to insert uh, our first balcony door just go to the architecture menu and the doors our three families are categorized under the doors uh, section and from the drop down select the door you want to install let's start with a double sliding uh, at the moment select it and you can either add it in your uh, plan view or even in a 3d view let's go to the plan view select the position you want to add your balcony door click once and uh, the system will create an opening in the wall and add the balcony door select the door you can flip it vertically or horizontally any way you want and also in our 3d view you can now very easily see our double sliding door has already been installed and created a cut through our wall it also continues the exterior and the interior finish of our wall structure up to the aluminium frame on both sides now let's have a look at the parameters we can control for this uh, balcony door and make it match our design constraints we don't need to change anything construction graphics graphics we can control the left and the right panel of our double panel uh, sliding door uh, uh, how they are visualized whether they are open or closed so both of them 0%, hit apply, and they are uh, shown as both closed. Uh, one panel 50%, and the other panel 25%. This way you can make them either closed or fully opened on one side, and the other way around on the other side. Or you can uh, flip them horizontally from your... Uh, plan view. Let's make uh, one of the two doors at 25%. There you go. And this way you can display how your uh, balcony doors are shown on your architectural drawings, either closed or open. Let's have a look at the rest of the parameters. Let's minimize a few that we don't need. We've seen uh, the graphics section, how to control um, the opening of the doors materials uh, there's three materials you can change first is the glass material you can uh, using the procedure with Revit changing materials uh, you can apply any type of glass onto your doors um, panel frame material is the actual frame of each of the two panels what material they are and the guide frame basically is the frame around the door and the floor frame and the rail at the in the floor so these are the three materials you can control dimensions first let's uh, talk about the actual uh, dimensions of the door rough width and uh, rough height these are the wall opening dimensions so rough width currently it's set at uh, 2600 millimeters 2.6 meters let's change it to three meters and you will see how our door adjusts as well as the wall opening together and the height currently at 2.4 meters let's make it a little bit taller 2.6 so this way you can uh, control the actual dimensions of your door 
take it back to force here apply so these are the two dimensions of the door exterior panel offset currently it's set at 50 millimeters let's change it to 100 and you will see how the door moves towards the inside you can control the offset from the exterior or the interior wall depending how you installed the door glass thickness uh, straightforward currently are two centimeters 20 millimeters let's make it 40 just to look at the difference you see how the each panel has thickened I will take it back to 16 millimeters uh, guide frame width is the frame around the door and the floor rail the width is set at 30 Let's make it 50 and uh, the panel frame width each of the two panels have a frame around it to support the glass currently is set to 30 millimeters let's make this 50 to see the change see how the panel frame changes take it back to 30 so these are the only very few parameters you need to control to match your uh, aluminium balcony door glass uh, sliding balcony door to your architectural project you can control the actual dimensions of the door offset from the wall thickness of the frames and the glass as well as the three materials glass and the frames together with how these doors are visualized uh, either closed or open now let's have a look at our uh, three panel aluminium door the same way go to door and now I'm going to select the three panel middle sliding balcony door um, in this family only the middle panel um, is uh, sliding and the left and right panels are fixed so the same way install our door go to a 3d view and you can see let's have a look at the parameters of this three panel door constraints uh, graphics visualization there is only one opening uh, parameter we can uh, change only the middle panel uh, slides currently is set to be opened at 50 percent let's close it completely apply closed open and shown as open take it back to 40 percent this door because it has only two um, uh, it has only one uh, moving part one sliding panel the other two are fixed it has a double uh, rail at the bottom materials are exactly the same as the double sliding the glass and the two frames around the door and all the other dimension parameters are exactly the same as before change the offset the overall uh, width and height of the door and the widths of the panels if you want the middle part the middle sliding part to slide to the other side all you have to do is go to your plan view and reverse the orientation of the door you can see now it is sliding to the other side the same way let's have a look at our other three panel sliding I'm going to change it to this type uh, with this type all three panels else are sliding and you can see currently the rail at the bottom is a triple rail and each of the doors are staggered so they can all three move along the rail parameters for this type of family are exactly the same with the only difference we now have opening at 25 percent opening at 50 percent and opening at a hundred percent and you can see all three panels have moved along to one of the sides if you want them to be on the other side of your wall again just reverse the orientation and they will be shown on the other side with the graphics opening percentage there's only one percentage to control at zero percent they will all be closed 
at 20%, they all move along by 20% and so on. Material um, properties, material parameters are exactly the same as well as the dimensions. So go ahead and add these uh, families to your library and save valuable time with all your designs. Thank you for watching. <laughs>